Wisconsin's lakes and waterways are teeming with many varieties of fish. In this short video, we'll visit with fish expert John Lyons from the Wisconsin Department of Natural Resources and learn about some of the most interesting fish in the Wisconsin River. This is the longnose gar, one of two kinds of gar found in Wisconsin waters. And gar are very primitive fish that have basically existed in this form since before the time of the dinosaurs. They're very adapted for living in big rivers and big lakes where they feed on fish up in the water column. Now they have a very interesting foraging strategy. They're not a pursuit type fish. They don't chase after fish and run them down. Basically they lie very still near the surface of the water so they almost look like a floating log or a stick. And then when a small fish gets close thinking that it's just a, a harmless stick, the fish turns its head incredibly fast and grabs the fish sideways in this long beak. Now this beak is full of sharp teeth and so the fish is able to be impaled on these and then the gar maneuvers the fish, the small fish around and swallows it. Gar are particularly adapted to water situations where there isn't a lot of oxygen. In fact, gar during the summer months when the water temperatures are high and their metabolism is high actually are required to come to the surface and breathe oxygen to supplement the, the oxygen they get through their gills. So they'll stick that little snout up into the water, take a gasp of air, it will go into their swim bladder, which is the organ that helps them achieve buoyancy, and from within the swim bladder there are capillaries and blood vessels that will take oxygen into the body. So a fish like this, you can keep it out of the water literally for an hour or so, as long as you keep it wet, it's able to breathe. And in fact, if a gar during the summer gets caught in a net and is unable to get to the surface, it will actually drown. So a fish can actually drown in water, and that will happen to gars during the summer months. For many years, people thought that gar competed with game fish, and so they didn't like gar. They tried to get rid of gar, and they killed them. But in fact, we know now that gar have a very important role in the aquatic ecosystem, and they don't actually compete with the game fish. In fact, Gar are thought to be good predators on things like carp, things we'd like them to get rid of. And gar, in fact, also live in very different habitats from most game fish. They're up in the shallow, mucky areas, not out in the middle of the lake or the middle of the river where most of the game fish are. So, in fact, gar are an important natural part of the community and really a fascinating fish that survived for literally millions of years in this form. 